Hi, Simone. This is Simone. She's a very sweet, pretty seal point Siamese. She has all her claws. She is about one to two years old. And as you can see, she's friendly. She came in, she didn't like other cats that she was with in her foster room. And so she was transferred over here and she's been an only cat in this foster room and has thrived pretty well. She is kind of easy to startle and her tail gets huge when she's startled. She's got the biggest tail I've ever seen when she gets startled. She likes to have her head pet and scritched and she'll sniff you like right in your face when you pick her up. She'll like stick her nose right on you when she's sniffing you, which is a little disconcerting. But she's not very fond of being pet on her tail. Come on up here. Come on. So she likes the head and neck area pet, but she gets a little snippy if you do a lot of petting on the back half of her. So we avoid it because she just doesn't like it. Yeah. But she really loves to get pet on the head. Very full of purrs for that. Ain't that right, sweetheart? When I open the door to the foster room, she always jumps over from wherever she is to come and greet me and get some pets. And her favorite toy is the laser pointer. And she will chase this laser. She likes to chase it into the pillow or any place there's a soft landing. She also likes to chase it up the wall. And she'll hide until I show her the next magic spot and put it over in this nice soft landing. Where's it gonna go? Laser toys are super fun. And she will play with this for a really long time. Wanna go down to the soft pillow landing again? So this is Simone, very sweet. She, because of her, um, because of her easy startlingness, is that a word? Um, I would not recommend that she would be good with small children. Um, I would not recommend that she goes someplace that has um, a lot of other animals, although she seems to be warming up a little bit to one of my cats who consistently wants to play with her under the door. So it's possible, given a really long, gradual introduction period, that she would be okay with other animals. But she'd probably do better in a house where she's the only cat. And it would be best if she went to a home that was cat-experienced. Because, like I say, she has some things that she doesn't like. For example, if you play too much with um, petting her back here, she might get a little nippy. She doesn't actually bite, but she lets you know she doesn't like it by kind of turning around and swatting at you. And it's easy enough to deal with that if you know the signals and you just avoid the things that set her off. So somebody that can read the cat signals is going to be better than somebody who's coming in um, with no cat experience and can't figure out um, when she's getting a little annoyed with you. But she's just a very, very sweet cat. Like I say, easily startled and her tail will puff up to... She's got a really full tail as it is, and it puffs up to two or three times the size that it is. It's just an amazing plume that she carries around back there when she's startled, which she was for the first uh, two weeks that she was with us. She would get startled real easily, but now is very comfortable. So she's going to take a little bit of um, a little bit of time to get used to her new surroundings, but once she does. She is a very sweet, very, very sweet cat. A really sweet girl. Aren't you Simone? Yeah. Yeah. So this is Simone, available for adoption with Specialty Purebred Cat Rescue.